we're going back to the basics here at Marshall Florist today. And what I wanted to do when I thought about just basic flowers is I thought about all the customers that come into our shop and actually get wrapped bouquets, where we just pull some stems of flowers together, tissue paper them, put a bow on them and send them out. And it certainly is a very, very nice gift to bring people. What we hear from a lot of our customers is that everybody accumulates so many vases at their house that they prefer not to bring another vase home and have to pay for that. But the thing that we struggle with here at Marshall Flores is the fact that obviously giving somebody a vase of flowers, the presentation is so much more impressive than it is to just hand somebody a wrapped bouquet. So what we thought we would do is show you a very, very easy way that you can take these flowers and make them into something beautiful so that they could be actually just dropped into the vase and would look exactly like a florist had done it for you. And the person that you're giving the flowers to doesn't have to worry about it or struggle with it or do anything like that. And so we're just going to do a basic hand tie bouquet and we're going to drop it into a vase and show you how easy that is. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take some greenery and we're going to make a little grid in our hand like this. And we're going to crisscross the, um, the greenery. We'll probably add a little bit of Solel and a little bit of tree fern into it like this. And basically, this is our base that we're trying to create. And then we're going to start with our tall flowers first. And it's always real good to have your flowers cleaned off. And so what we've done is we've stripped the stems, and we have them all ready to go. Because once you start to create like this, it's very hard to let go of it until it's done. So you don't want to have to do that. And I start with my top flower there. And then I'm going to go in at an angle like this because I want this to come out to the side of the vase arrangement like this. And notice I'm able to hold it in my hand and create the look that you'd like. And sometimes it's a lot easier to do that because you've got this wide opening here. And when you put your first flower in, it wants to fall over to the side. So doing it like this is really good. It, it allows you to be in control of where the flowers are going to go. Once again, I'm going to put this one in at an angle here because I would like them to look like that. And we're going to add some roses into it. We started out with some orange snapdragons. Now we're going to add some roses into it. And once again, come in with an angle because then you're going to get the shape that you want very, very nicely. And you're pulling some of the things down a little bit lower than the snapdragons. And we turn the arrangement when we're doing it, come in from this side with another rose. And basically, all you're doing is crisscrossing. And then hold on to the arrangement as you're doing it. You don't have to put all the flower or all of the uh, roses in at once. You can certainly do other things. These are lavender daisies, and these are very, very pretty, too. We've got some hot pink miniature carnations that are very, very nice as a filler, too, in a vase bouquet like this. We're going to turn the arrangement again and come over to this side and go in with an angle. And notice how everything is just kind of shaping just like it would be if we actually designed it right in the vase here. And the great thing about having it in your hand is you can actually pull things up and down. So be adjusting them. It certainly, you know, just because you stick it in one way does not mean it has to stay that way. We're going to go in with another lavender daisy. And things do move around a little bit. So once again, you're going to just keep adjusting. We'll put another rose in the back here. Uh, we want to grab the rose here. And as you go, pull them up. A little bit more of the pink carnations here. All right, come on. Now we have some cool Ger Gerbera daisies, so I'm going to add those in. And strategically, those can just be placed wherever you might have some negative space that you might want to fill in. Put another daisy in the back here. All righty. Turn the ger gerbs towards the front. There always seems to be a front and a back of an arrangement, but they should all sides look just as equally nice. We'll put in a few more purple daisies. And so now when you've got your bouquet started like this and coming to the point where you feel that you're going to be finishing it shortly, you can just add some flowers right to the bottom of a bouquet too. And now what we're going to do is we're going to just add some filler flower into it. And this is caspia. Very nice. It makes everything look kind of gardeny. Gardeny, it's kind of wispy. And you just want to work this 
uh, through the arrangement. This is also another really good thing to have cut into pieces that will work for you if you're going to try to do this in your hand, only because, like I said, it's very, very difficult to let go of it. So you don't want to have to do that. All righty, come on. I'm going to turn the bouquet around here a little bit. And we're going to put the Caspi on the back side of this. All righty. Now we're going to see where we're at with it. And this is where we're at. We can make a few more adjustments. And you'll also be able to adjust it once it actually gets in the vase, too. But now we're going to just collar it with a little bit of greenery. And that's why it's nice for it to be all ready for you to go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to line it up with the vase. That gerb wants to go its own way. We're going to line it up with the vase like this, and we're going to cut off all the stems to the length of the vase. And you want the greenery to be the collar of the bouquet. So you want that to be right down there. And don't hesitate to cut it maybe a little bit shorter, because then the greens will rest right on the edge of the vase. And then we're just going to plop it right in the vase like this. And then what you can do is you can move things around just a little bit. You can lift things up to be a little bit higher, a little bit lower, whatever you want to do. I also have a nice little bow here that matches the colors of the flowers. And we're going to stick it right in the front. And that's just a very, very simple hand-tied bouquet that looks like a florist spent a lot of time putting it in a vase but we didn't really spend a lot of time on it. So come to Marshall Florist and we'll help you learn how to do this.